Welcome into McAfee Dental. This is our reception area. This is our lovely admin team. Miss Sandy and Carly. Sandy's our scheduling coordinator and Carly's our financial coordinator. Come on back. We're going to go back to the treatment area. This is Dr. McAfee's treatment areas with our microscopes. This is our sterilization area. This is Elizabeth. And this is our E4D, where we do our same day dentistry. And patients love the fact that they can come in in the morning and by 12 o'clock, they go home with their crown. They're very excited about that. This is our target board. This is what Wonderful Tops has introduced to us, and it just keeps us on task so that every area of our practice, they know exactly what they're gonna do. Even they, they look at their goals and they know what they're supposed to be doing and they set their schedule according to that. Let's walk on over this way. This is our hygiene area. This is our hygiene team Hello. getting ready to start the day. And back this way, we have um, one of our newest additions, which is our 3D scan. Um, Dr. McAfee really enjoys placing implants, so we use this in order to get our implant patients ready. All right, so Dr. McAfee, what are uh, two or three things that have set your practice apart and made you successful over the last few years? The number one is excellent team with excellent training. I think a lot of doctors are not willing to put the time and effort into uh, getting great team members on board and spending the time, effort, and money to train these team members to make them excellent. Um, a quarterback is only as good as his team. And we've seen this in a lot of pro teams where they hire excellent quarterbacks but they don't have a great uh, team members, and so they don't have a good line, so they, they can't, the, the quarterback can't function well. I think it's also important in the dental office because you can have an excellent dentist with excellent clinical skills, but if you've got somebody that's terrible um, answering the telephone, uh, they can never get in to see this, this doctor. And so I think the number one thing is the team. Um, you know, number two is excellent communication within the team itself, but also with the patients. We really try to minimize the surprises uh, for our patients. We communicate communicate things well with them, um, and that way we're very truthful, uh, very honest about what they're going to expect and what they should receive. Um, we love our patients. Uh, we. We want to change their lives, not, not just uh, work on their teeth, so to speak. Uh, we want them to have life-changing experiences when they come to us, uh, improvement of the overall health, but you know, just be a positive atmosphere uh, for people to come to. Nobody enjoys going to the dentist, so to speak, uh, but we want a, a pleasant experience when they do come. Um, I think a state-of-the-art facility is also great. Um, I think it's a wow factor. Uh, I think it's um, showing the patients that you're willing to spend some money uh, on things that will help them in the long run. And I think the combination of all of these together is what you know helps you uh, helps a practice grow, but it helps you uh, want to change lives for people, not just work on teeth. So, Dr. McAfee, what's one thing you wouldn't practice without? Um, I would not and could not practice uh, without my team that's here with me. They are the, the one thing that, uh, you know, I've got to have these, these guys on board with me and uh, to make my day function and to uh, help the patients improve their lives. And if you were going to start all over today, what would you do the same, and what would you do differently? That's the one I don't know about. <laughs> I would have uh, spent more time and energy earlier on in my career 
and training the team members because I think that's very, uh, very, very important that the team has excellent training along the way. <laughs> Clinical skills are great. They, they help patients out. But if you're not able to communicate with the patients what they need, then you can never get to that point or that level with a patient. And if you were going to tell a new dentist starting out today a, a wise word of wisdom, what would that be? Stay out of bed. Stop. 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 Stay up to date with what is going on. Uh, continue to get uh, reinvigorated. <laughs> You know, there's been times in my career where I, I kind of get burned down and say, hey, you know, look, I'm okay, everything will be all right, but I, I, I come to realize that you do need re-stimulated, you know, again and again. The team needs re-stimulating, I need re-stimulating uh, to keep the practice growing and to keep, uh, uh, to keep our, ourselves motivated so we can uh, change our patients' lives. All right, so tell me, what have been some of your biggest challenges? I think we all felt like we were too busy to implement anything that the top said really wanted us to implement and suggested that we implement, and I felt like, I think we felt like we were too busy. Um, but once we started implementing those, it, it was good. And what have been some of your biggest accomplishments? Well, the relationship link was one of the things that we had trouble with at first because we were such a busy office, but it has dramatically changed the way we think and the way I think our patients feel about our actual, when we're explaining our treatment. Um, it has helped so much as far as the acceptance that we've had with our cases. And in the long run, it's actually helped us in our communication with each other so everyone in the office knows what's going on with every patient. And I also think that we have taught our patients to change their way of thinking, to maintain their teeth, to, to encourage them to try to keep their teeth and have them, you know, for the rest of their life, whereas a lot of their mentality was, you know, let's extract it, let's pull it, you know, I don't want to spend money or the time because it's kind of the area that they grew up in, you know, 20, 30 years ago, and a lot of their parents have done the same thing, so we're, you know, getting the kids and children and future generations to keep their teeth and do implants and other things. Tell me about Skill of the Week. How does Skill of the Week help you in your day-to-day -day activities? The Skill of the Week helps us as a team. We, it just brings us back together every week and reinforces what we've learned from TOPS and helps us. Um, <laughs> that's, that's, I'm sorry. Yes. I think it like, helps us retrain our brain and communicate better with our patients and with each other and how to deal with certain types of patients. What do you guys do to give back to your community? Small to large. We try to go, we try to get as many people as we can and raise as much money as possible. We do uh, a charity called GMON every, or we try to do it every year. It is a, they do see everybody in Atlanta and they see up to 4,000 people in a day for free dental work. Um, we also help our local community as far as we see children going to school. We do um, the Head Start program, the initial exam for the four-year-olds that are going up for their first kindergarten year. And um, we give to local missions, like people that are going on missionary work, like toothbrushes and <laughs> And recently we had a lot of storms come through our area. We had tornadoes that affected a lot of families and um, schools and people, they didn't have supplies. so. Dr. McAfee's office gave water, blankets, shirts, and um, the people were just so appreciative of things like that, that, you know, things they didn't have. And we send toothbrushes and toothpaste to military um, overseas. 